Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I am going to show you how to download and install Keyclock on your local machine. Here you can see the download button. I click on the download button and with that I was redirected to the downloads page. Here you can see the current latest version is 26.0.7 and uh, you can download Keyclock in multiple flavors like standalone mode and container image. Uh, here I am going to download this as a standalone server. Here I am going to download the zip file. Uh, once the download is finished, I visit the downloaded folder. Now I am in the Keyclock zip file downloaded folder. Here we can see the zip file Keyclock 26.0.7 zip. Now I am going to unzip this folder. Keyclock unzipping is complete. We can see the unzipped directory as well. And now I'm going inside that directory. Uh, here I go to the bin folder, which has all the binaries. And uh, uh, since I have a Linux distribution, I'm going to execute this kc.sh file. If you have a Windows machine, you can use kc.bat file to run the Keyclock server. Uh, currently, I have Java 21 installed in my machine. Now I'm going to run the Keyclock server. Here I type dot slash kc.sh start dev. I run the key clock server in development mode. In the initial run, it will take a few seconds. Key clock server is up and running on port 8080. Now I'm going to visit that URL. I have opened my browser. Uh, here I visit the localhost 8080. So since this is the first time I'm going to log into the Keyclock server, I need to create a temporary administrative user. I set the username as temp, password is also as temp, and I click on create user. Open administration console. So again, I have to re login. I was redirected to the Keyclock admin console. Here you can see there's a warning sign. You are logged in as a temporary admin user to harden security, create a permanent admin account, and delete the temporary one. I am going to create a permanent admin user. Here I visit the user section. Click on add user and set the username as admin. And uh, I click on the create button. I am not sure whether you guys can see that button. Uh, now the user is created. And I go to the credentials section and provide a password as well for this newly created admin user. And I disable temporary switch. Save the user, save the password. And I go to the role mappings and uh, assign admin roles to this new located admin user. User also assigned to this new user. And I go to the users section and I log in from the newly created user. And I click on sign out. Click sign in. Okay, I was again sign into the user section. Here I am going to delete the temporary user. Okay, now permanent admin user is the only one in this user section. So that's it for this video. We will talk about the rest in the coming videos. Thank you.